Okay, last question is Karen. Hi, Jesse. I really need your help. I'm here to help you. And was hoping you would email me with your suggestion. I bought your Jesse's Girls Muscle Building book, and I've been a member for a year. Amazing. Thank you. I love you. In calculating your BMR in the Jesse's Girls ebook, you say it is accurate and all but the very overweight. Well, I am one of those people. I am 218 pounds, I'm 5'6 and 53 years old. So after doing the equation, my BMR is 3,267. So where do I go to find out what my BMR is, what my accurate BMR is, so I can then go on to calculate my macros and my micros? Or do you have a suggested calorie amount? Can I do 1,500? No, don't do that. If you can help with a just suggestion, that would be awesome. Of course I can. And keep in mind, Karen and all of you girls, if you purchase a Jesse's Girls ebook, that includes access to the private Jesse's Girls ebook training program Facebook page. So questions like this, this is a couple weeks old that I get really behind with the questions because I'm one human and you girls send me 200 questions a week. I email back my response to all those that don't get a video like this, but um, I do get bogged down a little bit. So if there's an immediate question like this, always, always, always either email help at jessiefitness.com. That is the email address for the Jessie's Girls eBooks. And um, also that Facebook group, there are what, 3,000 women in there? And all you do is post this question and me and 3,000 other women are going to help you. So to answer it really quick for you and for everybody watching this, what, the, what my best suggestion is to do if you are over 200 pounds and you're trying to calculate your BMR, I would love to see you go to a professional body fat testing facility or person. And there's so many different ways out there. There's a hydrostatic test, which is the one that I used to do uh, back home in Nevada. As you know, I live in Arizona now and I haven't found one here, maybe because the city's so big that I just don't really know where to look. And I don't really test my body fat anymore. I love that one, that's where you blow out all of your air and then you go underwater and it weighs you minus all of your air and organs and bones and muscles and stuff like that. So that one can be re really accurate. A bod pod is pretty cool and a lot of the Jessie's girls talk about that. At my old gym, a really old gym that I used to go to many years ago in Nevada, um, there was a bod pod in that gym, but I feel like even like if it's not calibrated perfectly, if the owner of the bod pod isn't keeping up with that, I feel like even that can be inaccurate. I think all of them can be inaccurate. They'll be darn close enough, that's for sure. A bod pod is really similar to the underwater one. You blow out all of your air, you wear a shower cap and like a pair of booty shorts and a sports bra and you go sit in this little chamber, this little egg thing. It's really creepy. And it does the same thing as the water one does. So anyway, but you can also do the pinch test with a very, very skilled personal trainer. Make sure they're doing it three or four times in a row and then taking the average of it. If you get really close to having an accurate body fat test, then I want you to use your lean body weight. So a body fat test is going to tell you uh, how much of your total body weight is fat and how much of it is lean, not fat. When you get those results back, I want you to take your lean body weight and use that weight amount, that pound, that number of pounds, and plug that into the BMR equation. And that's going to give you your accurate weight. So I'm gonna turn this off for a second. I'm gonna do a quick little calculation for you. I'm going to just totally guess a lean body weight number for you. So do not use this. I will be so mad at you if you use this because I have no idea what your body fat percentage is. So hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. First of all, you gave me your stats, Karen, 218 pounds, 66 inches, and you're 53. And you did the equation and got a BMR of 3,267. So right there, we've got a big mistake because I calculated it different. So I plugged in your body stats, 218 pounds, 66 inches, and 53 years of age, and I got a BMR for you of 1,664. And then of course you times that by your activity level. I'm gonna just guess that you're working out three to five times a week. So we multiply that by 1.5. 
that gives you that gives you 2,500 calories. So that's where you would start if you use your total body weight right now, 218. So I want you, maybe email me again. I wanna make sure you're doing the calculation right. I wanna make sure I didn't read your email wrong or you didn't type something wrong. And then an example of you using your lean body weight. So let's say you went and got a body fat test and those results came back that you have 38% body fat. That means that you have 83 pounds of fat and 135 pounds of lean body weight of your 218 pounds. So I'm gonna take your 135 pounds of lean body weight and I'm gonna plug it into this equation instead of your total body weight of 218. So when I use 135, your lean body weight, that gives you a BMR of 1,303. Multiply that by 1.5, which means you're active in the gym and exercising three to five times per week. That gives you a brand new calorie amount of 1,950. So the difference between you using your full body weight, 218 pounds, and you using, if you happen to be 38% body fat, which I totally just like randomly picked a number out of the sky, because I've never seen you, I have no idea. If you, let's say you are 38% fat, that means you're 135 pounds of lean body weight. So if we use your lean body weight, that adjusts everything so that you go from 2,500 calories to 1,950 and you begin calculating your macros from there according to the book, step-by-step uh, step in the Justice Girls book. So you saying at the end of your email, is it okay to eat 1,550 calories, just throwing a random number in there? No, just picking a random number out of the sky is never a good idea, please don't do that. And you see that I used your lean body weight of 135 pounds, guessing, and it was still only 500 calories less than your full, using your full body weight. So if you were to just pick 1500 calories, 1550 calories, and just start using that, you're gonna be under eating and that's what all of this is about, is not doing that. So.